What's going on guys, it's Greg Misko Styes, and today we have a tutorial. This one is in the Mirage 2. We've been getting continued requests from Trevor. Trevor, we see you in the comments asking for the Brian Cost build tutorial. So here it is, this is his pocket in the Mirage 2. It also happens to be Cole Williams pocket, uh, Hopkins alum who has just traded from the Chrome to the Archers and now will be participating in the championship series. So he requested an orange Mirage 2 uh, with an all white pocket, again, Brian Cosbeal, um, and uh, they use the same exact pocket. So this is for both of them. It's a really great pocket. So uh, we did the top string standard nine diamond like we always do on the second row. Um, and it's a, it's a deep mid pocket. Uh, a nylon and two shooters, not too tightly channeled, a little shiftier, um, but I think it could work for a lot of you guys, so we'll get into the sidewall tutorial. Okay, so now we're gonna string the sidewall. We have the top string on the second hole, which is how we always do it for the barrage two. So we'll go down to the third and do what we always do, which is a double loop start, um, going through the outside of the third hole, and then through the first diamond of mesh, and we're just gonna loop that around two times, you can do one if you want, you can do three if you want, um, but just to get that nice and tight. And then for the rest of it, this is actually a really simple pattern, but it's something that both uh, Casabio and Cole have used for a long time and really like. So we're gonna do three knots, skipping a sidewall hole between each. So here's our second hole of mesh. There's the hole we're gonna skip. Go through the outside of the sidewall, and then from the face to the back of the mesh. This is just a regular overhand knot then come down and around the string, and then you do wanna make sure you get all the slack out so it is as tight as possible and sits as flush as possible to the head. So we're gonna do that two more times, skipping one sidewall hole, going to the next mesh hole, and doing an overhand knot. Uh, this is gonna pull it tight, but not as tight as we would normally go. It's not all that tight. So skips, one more of those with a skip, and the knot on the fourth hole of mesh, and that's gonna get us our channel that we're looking for. And now we're gonna finish it out with just a couple simple ones and twos uh, to develop a little bit of a pocket. Theirs isn't too deep or crazy, so we're gonna do a one while skipping a sidewall hole. So now we're gonna to go to going from the face to the back of the mesh without going through the sidewall, just like that. And then we're gonna just go from the outside and straight under the string uh, to make the one without locking it down. Now we have a two without skipping any sidewall holes. So through the first hole of mesh, back around and through the second hole of mesh without going through the sidewall. And we're gonna go into that very next sidewall hole to bunch it up really tight. That's gonna make the pocket just a little higher and a little more defined. And then we're gonna do another one. And this one is also gonna be without skipping any sidewall holes again, just to make the pocket bunch up a little bit more there in the center so it's a little higher. Um, and now we're very simply gonna finish it with two ones. Uh, they are gonna skip a hole to spread the pocket out at the bottom a little bit. So through the mesh first, skipping one sidewall hole, coming down and finishing the one. And then this one is gonna be just how we tie it off. So you actually go from the back of the mesh to the front and then from the inside of the sidewall to the outside, unlike we did for the rest. And that's because this is the final tie off one and knot. It just makes it a little cleaner at the bottom. And then you tie that off and there you have the finished pocket ready to break in. Okay, now once you got the sidewall strung up, make sure you break it in really good, get it in nice and loose. For bottom string, they actually drop it down to the next 10 diamond row, so it's a little longer. Um, if you have trouble keeping your pocket legal, I would shift it up one. And then for shooting strings, they go with a nylon and two straights. One, uh, first one stacked around a nylon, next one with a space. I think that this works, but you can mess around with shooting strings. Maybe if you need a little more whip, since this pocket doesn't have a ton, drop them down a row if you need. So thanks for watching, Trevor. Shout out to you for watching our videos and requesting this tutorial. If you have other tutorials you want us to do, leave them in the comments. We will always read them and we'll always respond. So thanks for watching. Like if you liked it, subscribe if you have not, and have a great day.